The new state and congressional redistricting maps have been signed into law. I spoke with New York State Senator Joseph Griffo, who says that these new district lines do not reflect the will of the people of New York. They created lines in seven days when the Independent Redistricting Commission talked seven months about trying to find four or five different proposals that they were advocating and advancing. So I just think that um, this is unfortunate. Looking at how this will impact the community and the state as a whole, Senator Griffo's first concern is losing a seat in Congress. Second, he explains that you need a balance geographically when you have communities of common interest, such as Utica and Rome. Uh, there's a synergy there, and I think anytime you try to separate and divide that, it's a problem. And to think that they divided this based on politics uh, shows that they really don't have that concern for the people. And that's unfortunate. And I think that's going to be the, the, the challenge that will be faced by many communities. Uh, Nida County was eviscerated. The senator also says it makes it much more challenging for representation in order to ensure that a community's needs and interests are addressed. But it dilutes it because when you're farther away from, you know, where you uh, represent, it makes it a little more challenging and complicated. When asked what happens next, the senator says there will be legal action. And we've seen in several states now that the litigation actually has been somewhat successful in North Carolina and Ohio. Now, with one party control and the will of the people that was expressed but ignored, I think makes for a more legitimate case before the courts. And there will be court action. Now, what will happen, I don't know. Reporting in Utica, Lauren Brill, Eyewitness News.